What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sean from Marine Hobby. Yet another day, another long, guys. It's been a while, so I thought uh, we'll talk about something today. And uh, we are talking about caterpillars today inside the ocean or uh, inside your aquarium. So we are talking about bristol worms, guys. Uh, so if you don't know what bristol worms look like, this is how they look like. Pretty nasty. Now that you have seen how bristle worms look like, guys, uh, they are they are, for me they they look like caterpillars to me. Okay, and uh, so my advice to you guys, if you are new in the hobby or uh, you have just been there in the hobby and you don't, if you see something which you have not added in your tank deliberately, 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 उसको हाथ से चूना is little dicey because you don't know what that is. आपको पता नहीं वो क्या है और वो क्या कर सकता है और क्या उस पे ताकत है क्या वो toxic है is it poisonous is it not it's better not to touch it. Always wear some kind of a glove or some kind of a protective uh, thing on your hand before you do such a thing. So guys, bristle worms are critters. Uh, they worms how their names are, are suggested. Now there is a long debate in the ocean, but in the hobby world that uh, they are uh, good things, they are bad things, we will come back to that later. Now first let's, let's see, wait, where do we get these bristle worms? Now it's not that you are going to walk into a fish store and say please give me bristle worms. It's not that you go and say bristle worms, give me a fish, give me a fish, give me a worm, give me a fish. It's not that. They are creatures which come like critters, they are hitchhikers. When you take something like this, a rock, or uh, some LPS or SPS which you just get in your tank and you straight away introduce it in your tanks and uh, you just let it be there, you don't cure it, you don't use your dip you uh, add tank in your tank, that's the time when they get introduced in your system when uh, you have light or day or something in your tank, they are not very much visible they come out at night so, जब भी आप ऐसी चीज कुछ देखना चाहते हैं अपने टैंक में तो जस्ट बिल्कुल अंधेरा कर दो मेक इट डार्क और फ्लैश लाइट से यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट योर टैंक फ्लैश लाइट से अगर आप अपने टैंक को देखोगे यू विल फाइंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइफ फॉर्म्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ द होल सबस्ट्रेट एंड द रॉक्स दैट्स व्हेन यू कम टू नो इफ दिस इज देयर इन योर सिस्टम और नॉट नाउ क्रिस्टल वर्म्स सम पीपल से दे आर गुड दे एक्चुअली स्कैवेंज ऑन द रिमेंस ऑफ डेड फिश दे ईट all those scavenge out on all the food which is left over uh, and ultimately they help you in lowering down the nitration at uh, The other uh, people say that they eat your fish, they are worms, they are bad, they are critters, they are hitchhikers, they were not supposed to be there. So uh, this debate has been going on and uh, both my friends are fighting over it. Mr. Worms, keep it back. What's the problem? They are there in the ocean, they are there for a reason, they are helping you in low end of your nitrate nitrites. They are pretty little things, but why are you getting rid of them? Don't listen to this guy, this guy is mad, he doesn't know what he is saying. They don't get rid of them, get rid of them, you didn't hack them, don't be greedy. They are pretty little what they are, what is there in such a way. How did they come here in the first place? Did you deliver this to them and buy them out? No, you so just keep them. You just, you just keep you. You just see them. No, we can lock them. They, they, they. Ugly looking things. They don't like caterpillars. Don't get rid of them. You have no control over your time. You what are you doing? Don't listen to this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just takes the side of everything. What you say? Don't keep those. Just stop doing it. Don't worry about it. They're going to, they're going to ruin the whole time. Don't. They grow so fast, and they multiply like crazy. Don't. Who's going to clean all them? 
and then you are going to clean up all the rock, you are going to pick out all the rock work and everything, what are, what are you doing dude? Just get rid of the meat, doesn't do anything. Now that you have seen both my friends fighting over it, uh, I have decided not to keep that. Uh, although some people are saying it's good and uh, one of my friends is also saying that it's good. Uh, but I never added it in my system, I never went deliberately adding the Bristol worm in my tank, I never wanted it there in the, in the first place itself. Other than that, when I am, I don't know what's there in my system, I have less control of my tank. So if I have less control, then it's a little difficult for me to think how do I going to react to something which I am supposed to. Now if I am adding some kind of a medicine, if I am adding copper, if I am going to treat it something differently and it's there in the system and I don't know about it, that's going to make a mess later on. Um, the, the bristle worms get really big, they can get up to a 2 feet long uh, bristle worms and it's a very really nasty little thing, they look like caterpillar, they're quite ugly looking, they're not like very pretty little thing thing. So for me, uh, they're going to go off. There are quite many ways how uh, you're going to get them out, there are some traps which people lay out. And it's a little difficult if you have a lot of rock work in your tank, uh, taking them out of the system because you have to then uh, hamper around with the rock which you don't want to because you have done a lot of rock work in that. So it's going to be difficult if they are introduced in your system in the first place. First point is always cure your rock, do the dips, take care of what you are adding and then put it in your display tank. Secondly, they are they're not, they're not very good looking things. Now they are there in the first compartment of the sump. So the best thing for me to do it is just get rid of the whole water in the, tank, in the sump and uh, put some new media in it and just let it run. Although I can't run away from it, uh, ocean is full of it and uh, we are going to get a lot of things like that. Uh, it's always It always comes down to you how you want to, do you want to keep them or not want to keep them. For me, they're, they're going to go out. For you, it might be beneficial. Uh, take your time, take your call. Uh, ultimately, don't touch them with your hand. They can be pretty dangerous. And uh, for guys, uh, now that uh, I have put it across what uh, Bristol Worms and how they look like and what they are, the greater is basically hitchhikers. So uh, I'm going to close this vlog and uh, I'm going to catch you in another vlog guys. So guys, uh, I'll see you in another vlog. So ciao from my side and I'll see you in another vlog. Bye guys.